10. The funds we are providing today encompass six projects in several critical areas, including TV, small-scale infrastructure, social security, and youth innovation. By empowering both the government and civil society. We are very happy that we are in government at the time with friends like the Taiwanese. So, um, so I want you also to thank, to thank you and to convey to your president and your cabinet our best wishes. We are very thankful and we look forward to St. Lucia continuing to soar into higher and higher heights. Nine. Preparation for this new academic year has been made easier for students residing in the Mabria Valley. Almost 300 needy families received checks to help with back to school to the St. Lucia Social Development Fund, the SSDF. Today you've come here to receive a check and that check will not take care of all the expenses that you will have in relation to sending your child to school. But it is a help. It represents a contribution from the government. Eight. Our executive luncheon seeks to provide a forum where verifiable information from a reliable source is provided to members of the business community. Whatever our political persuasion, I don't think we should ever engage in any activity or conduct our business in any way that damages or destroys the reputation and image of our country. But today, I want to explain to you in detail how CIP works, what we have done to make CIP resilient and sustainable, and I will respond to some of the accusations, all in the hope that you can make informed decisions thereafter. Seven. Sean Mathray, Director of Statistics at the Central Statistics Office, CSO, provided an update on the status of the National Population and Housing Census. The 2022 census marks a historic transition for the CSO as it is the first in the region to utilize a computer-assisted personal interview approach. Notably, while St. Lucia's population increased from 166,526 in 2010 to 172,948 in 2022, the growth rate has declined from 5% to 3.9 percent. Six. As part of the celebrations for Grizzly Reunion 2024, the organizers partnered with the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs to host a comprehensive health fair. Where we thought it necessary to use the opportunity to um, get some community engagement and spread the message about proper health care and overall health care to all. Five. The Unicoma Group launched its OECS Wellness Program over a two-day event offering free health screenings and educational sessions to both team members and customers. This initiative aimed at fostering a healthier community took place at the Courts Megastore in Marisol. We would have launched our wellness program within the OECS. Um, that's something that's part of our plans as a company in terms of focusing on wellness, not just for our staff, but also our customers. It's important that we offer our workplace wellness initiative as most persons are not able because of work commitments to come to our wellness center to access our free services. Four. The serene sands of Pigeon Point were transformed into a vibrant hub of athleticism and health awareness as volleyball players converged to take part in the first leg of the Rondi Island Volleyball Series. Many athletes took advantage of the free health screenings provided on site, ensuring that they were in peak condition to perform at their best. It is not only about learning the sport or getting physically active, but we also afford you the opportunity to get your blood pressure checked, get your blood sugar checked, to also get your height, your weight and, and all of that, your waist circumference, to get a general sense of where you are health-wise. And we're also there to educate you. Three. How do we promote peace. The Red Cross is here to provide help and hope and tonight we celebrate the launch of a very exciting initiative. The Conflict Resolution and Legal Committee is formed by the Red Cross primarily to help individuals resolve disputes in an amicable manner. We at the Red Cross do place our trust and confidence in this new committee. 
which is made up of professionals sworn to confidentiality. Two. A people, a community, who has been written and spoken about historically, eventually decided to tell their own story. And this publication, while it is an eight-year-old work, it comprises in 185 pages and 14 chapters different stories of the same community. This book is a testament to the rich history, vibrant culture, and resilient spirits of the Roseau Valley. One. The St. Lucia Social Development Fund, the SSDF, a satellite agency of the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment, has joined forces with the government of St. Lucia, the Caribbean Development Bank, the CDB, to celebrate the commissioning of the Victoria Water Storage Facility. An advancement of this nature emphasizes the transformative power of water in sustaining lives and livelihoods.